Welcome now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and Bishop Peter Gatimo uh, reaching out to you from Apostolic Faith Church, Bahati. Oh, I'm reaching out to you from Christ who is the hope of glory. Now, thank you for, for, uh, for being with us and following us in our Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube. We really appreciate that you have contributed so much to reaching out, reaching out, and also uh, we thank God that the preaching that God has given us has truly uh, brought or has borne fruit in your life, and God will bless you. Now, we proceed with deliverance of families. Uh, this is now uh, lesson number four. And we want to make uh, some uh, progress today so that we will be blessed. One of the areas that is open to attack in families that need to be solved is what we call unrepented sin. Unrepented sin. Keeping sin in individuals or families. You realize that sin is never destroyed by actually leaving and forgetting it. Because most of the preachers have welcomed people in the church and we tell them, come the way you are. And actually, they stay the way they were and they are. And we feel to teach so that people can realize who they are and they can have chance to know, hallelujah, to check themselves in the mirror of Christ's glory. And that's what you're saying. In most cases, as you grow up in the light of God and wisdom, you realize that maybe your father or your mom were involved in sin that no one in the family dared or was sensitive enough to repent. Yes, sin of bitterness, sin of fornication, adultery, sin of rape, sin of injustice. Maybe your dad was corrupt. Sin of, of sexual, extreme sexual uh, evils, that, like abortion. You know, there are families that are full of evils that were never repented. And if God can raise you and start on the gap and tell God, I'm here now. See the whole family with me. See me carry their sin. I repent the sin of immorality. I repent the sin of unfaithfulness. I repent the sin of any sacred evil in all my relatives. It's important, I tell the truth, if there is an intercessor or a person who is awake, sensitive, and can discern through, who can truly bear the sin of the family and repent them before God, it is, it is possible for the doors of curse, the doors of satanic attack to be closed and the blood of Christ take cover. And also the Holy Ghost put a seal on that family. And therefore, I just want to say that unrepented sin. God is so holy. God is independent. God cannot compromise his justice and his holiness. God cannot depend on men so that in a, in, to an extent where Men can force God just to ignore sin as they continue violating his will. God cannot allow that. And therefore, it's important, as I preach to you this day, that you take the burden on your shoulders, on your heart, to repent, to repent the sin of the family. Some people do evil, and when the evil is active, that day when you did evil, the feelings are so real in your heart. You just spend one or two days 
And when you stay on, you, are, you tend to forget the intensity. You, you feel the, the feelings subside. The intensity of the, of, of, of the sin that you did disappears in your feeling, disappears from the surrounding, and you feel like you are holy and you are clean just because the sin is in the past. Sin is not removed by being in the past. Sin is removed by repentance towards God. Because sin can only be done against our holy God that we serve. That's very important. Another thing we need to know that affects the family is satanic foundations and altars. Two things. The foundation. Secondly, the altar. A family need to be founded and to be established. You cannot leave the family without foundation. If it is so, your daughters and your son will be tempted to look for strength, confirmation, foundation from outside. Yes, your daughter will try to check or to look for confirmation from outside. And that's why satanic foundation and altars are doors of curses that need to be dealt with. Yes, satanic altar, whereby family was founded on persistent evil, injustice, witchcraft, satanic worship, rebelliousness. We need to handle that. Let's remove the satanic altars and foundations in our families. That will destroy a great doorway of attack. And we shall be free indeed. And families will be covered and protected. Another thing that opens up family to attack is demonic powers. Sometime along the line of life, some families are open to demonic powers that take dominion where the family is, that residential area where the family is, or where the family was laced up. You live in a nested where demons intrude your family, either by you going out and opening up to attack or compromising the faith or participating in evil lectures, evil ceremonies performed by friendly neighbors. Yes, that is very, very uh, it's true that you can open up family to demonic powers or to demonic to attack through creating openings to demonic powers. Watch out the people you work with. Invitations that are made towards you. Go out there, not like a beggar, not like a, a, like a poor fellow, somebody who is out there trying to look for identity. Go out wherever you go in the world. First of all, having your own self-concept, having your own heart established on standards, so that wherever you go, you will not be open to any slavery. Build up your standard. Build up your covenant with God. Build up your faith so that whoever comes on your way will find your faith established. We will find standards of your life established so that you avoid opening up to demonic powers that sometimes are taking over families. And you know when they take over families, there's a likelihood for a family to undergo uh, what I taught last time. When a demon comes, there's what we call toehold. It comes in with some fear, not knowing how you react. If you don't take action or react, the demon proceeds on to what I refer to as foothold. That time, it is starting to settle and making a residence around your family. And then, if the demon is not removed, 
It is able to study the surroundings. Able to know the strength and the weakness of your family. And eventually is able to build a stronghold in that family. If it's not cast out through prayer and fasting and the blood of Christ, the demon eventually establishes a system of, of caste in that family. Not toehold, foothold, stronghold, caste. So, demonic powers that take dominion where the family is or was raised up need to be uh, dealt with. Another thing that opens up family to some weakness or curses or attacks is blood relationship. Blood relationship, this manner. Every person born in a family has some inherited corruption through the family blood. Whereby, if your mom was a bitter woman, if a, your dad or your relatives are lazy or active, wherever they are, you realize as you grow up, you also have some traits from that family. And we need to be very careful. One of the things that the Holy Ghost will do when he gets into your life, he is able to cause you, it's like the Holy Ghost is able to separate flesh from the spirit, weakness and strength. Our failures and success. Actually, the Holy Ghost will put before you. This is your darkness and this is your light. And that's why if the Holy Spirit leads you, it's very hard for you to fulfill the desires of the flesh. And that's what you're saying. As you grow up in a family, you realize that through the bloodline, you have acquired a personality that needs to be molded by the Holy Ghost or a kind of evil that requires deliverance. That's very important. Another thing that opens family to demonic curses and attacks is wrong faith and practices. Wrong faith and practices. Whereby uh, we've come to a time where as we cleave for yet more power and manifestation or deliverance, people lad in the hands of diviners, evil prophets. People land on in the hands of people who servants who are being used by the devil. Yes. You know, there are several characteristics that we need to analyze concerning wrong faith, especially cult. A cult is a religion or a movement that, that, that denies, that, that, that is contrary to the teachings of Christ. It's a group that denies the authority of the Bible as the final word, as infallible final word. They brainwash people. They don't want you to have original right mind. They manipulate you through signs that make you feel like you have a, a, a unique identity in that group. They refuse. They don't accept the truth about holiness. They don't accept the truth about evil. And sometimes... These people have strange teachings when it comes to the Holy Spirit. Jesus Christ, right living, marriage and other issues, and also eschatology, the future events. We need to be very careful. And they secrude you. Eh? When you join them, they, 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 they sort of make you I uh, believe they are the only people going to heaven. Therefore, you are not able to fellowship with other people in the world. They make you antisocial, with the drone, and finally, you don't get better. You are not exposed. And uh, 
this kind of practices and sometimes they, 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 they manipulate to you in a way that you, you, whatever you earn in life, I've seen people who are educated, who earn a lot of money, but because of wrong faith, they end up bringing all the money at the feet of a certain evil prophet who manipulates them, make them poor, make them truly poor while they take all their salaries and tell them, go, this salary belongs to a prophet. We cannot allow that. I want to declare to you, wrong faith and practice opens families to demonic attacks. We need to watch out. Don't just rush to a meeting and have this man that you never know lay hands on you. Do not allow a fornicator to be a pastor. Do not allow this person whose character is questionable to lay hands on you. Do not allow extraordinary evil practices around your body and your life. Yes, do not subject yourself, subject your will to all people that you see allowed. Now, we need to be very careful. Wrong faith and practices brings evil impartation when family practices wrong or false faith. And you find that it's an open to the devil and people become poor. People become deprived and it's bad. Do you, do you realize that any member of the family who joins wrong faith, they also just make sure that they desert you from other people. If this is a husband, they make sure your wife who is not joining you is totally separated from you. We need to be very careful with this kind of wrong faith. Another thing that leads people, families to doorway of curses, opening to evil, is allowing disobedience in a family. Allowing disobedience to thrive in a family. Now, I don't know what we shall do because the families are under threat. Children are taking the lead. Children are sort of controlling parents. Strange powers in children. Whereby parents just sit there as, as, as parents who meet the needs of the children but cannot control them. Disobedience. Yes, a father who violated the will of God. A mother who disobeyed God. Yes, family that disobeyed God may open up to curses and attacks. Oh my God, people who never fear God. People who can say anything. They can even speak rebelliously against our creator. That's very bad. Another thing that leads to curse or attacks on families is laziness. Laziness gives openness to satanic projects. Failure, lack, stagnation. A lazy person a lazy person will, 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 will result in a lifestyle that is so much oppressed, stagnated, failure, a, a life that reflects the real attack of the enemy. And a lazy person can be manipulated so easily. A lazy person, instead of rising up, they tend to be defensive when they see other people who are active, becoming rich, instead of rising up and joining an uh, active life, they sit back while they backbite, discuss, or they become defensive against a uh, blessed and prospered life. We need to be very careful, friends. Don't allow your family member to tell you, although people are becoming rich, they all end up in death. They all end up... There's not Let us accept that laziness can open families to satanic projects. 
Satanic projects are failure. Satanic projects are extreme lack. Satanic projects are stagnation. Satanic projects are being dependent and having no rights because you are beggar and depend on others. We have to be very careful about that. Another thing that will bring attack, open up attack to families, open up attack to families is selfishness. Worship of self. Lack of love for each other. It gives room to the to the reign of, of uh, hatred, people blame and accuse each other. You go to a family, you find they accuse each other throughout. Accusing, accusation, accusation, blaming each other. Because no one is, every person has been brought up. There are families whereby children were brought up. Each person as a selfish person not minding about the other brother or sister. And selfishness also results in self-worship. Selfishness also results in, in a kind of evil way of living, whereby even giving to God becomes difficult. Family who, a family that is so selfish, as a family or individuals, you realize they are not is they, they, they don't easily give even their tithe. Giving offering, giving, obeying the voice of God, they develop a very stubborn, selfish spirit. That one can open up to the devil. It's very bad. Another thing that brings families to problem is taking the wrong direction as a family. When a family takes the wrong direction, Hallelujah. There's a likelihood that that family ends up in attack. Wrong direction is a result of lack of discernment in some point of life. That family lacked discernment. The leader of the family lacked discernment. The leader of the family got deceived. The key persons in the family fell in the hands of the devil. Yes, the family assets fell in the hands of conmen. Yes, taking the wrong direction as a family, lacking discernment at a certain point of life may cause the family to end up in satanic attack or in, uh, in problems. And therefore, friends, I want to say to you that God loves you and God wants this family to be delivered. Today we have shared about several ways that can open up to attacks. One, unrepented sin. Second one, satanic foundations and altars. The third one, demonic powers that take dominion where family is or where the family was raised up in. Another thing, blood relationship, inheriting traits, evil habits evil habit from your parents and other people in the family that requires to be resisted or to be destroyed. We have said about a family that gets into attack because of wrong faith. And also, another aspect, another way, is allowing disobedience in a family. Another doorway is resonance that gives openness to satanic failure, lack, and stagnation. And finally, we have said about selfishness. Selfishness in a family or individuals can open up to satanic attack. Another way that family can open up to attack is taking the wrong direction. Lack of discernment at a certain point of life cause the family to end up in openness to attack. But right now, by the word of God, by the knowledge of what I've shared, I want now to declare to you, do not allow this slavery to persist. I pray now as I speak to you, by the blood of Christ, the son of the living God, the curses, 
the wickedness in the family around you be destroyed. And the blood of Christ declare now a new foundation and altar in that family. God bless your life. God change your soul. God raise you from that horrible pit of cast. God bring his light to you. And God make you an instrument of deliverance where you are. In Christ we pray.